Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everybody. What do we have before us here? Well, we're taking a step out of the simulated driving world back into the real world of driving, into the performance modified uh, realm of real car driving. And what you see before you here, guys, are a set of um, the renowned Australian 302 closed chamber 2V cylinder heads, okay? This is a set of cylinder heads I've just purchased uh, for $300 off Facebook Marketplace. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do a series, uh, full, a complete series, on how to port 2V302 closed chamber factory, so cast iron, cylinder heads. For anybody out there that might be interested in doing something like this. Now, I am no expert on head porting, but at the same time, this ain't my first Rodeo. So I have a 1969 Ford Falcon XW. It has a 393 Stroker Cleveland motor in it. And currently it has a set of these exact same 2V cast iron closed chamber 302 heads sitting on top of that motor that I pulled off and ported about two years ago. This is going to be my second set of heads that I'm going to port and this time around it's going to be even better. I did a decent job on my last port, but it was the first head port I'd done, and I probably could have done a little bit more research before I started um, doing it, but despite going in fairly green, I saw some pretty big improvements um, in the performance of that motor with my engine combination. You are really at your limits with a 2V cylinder head, um, even with some of the new aluminium Chi or AFD, trick flow. Um, they've got some pretty good flow um, straight out of the box, those aluminium uh, cylinder heads, but they're still really at their limits uh, with a larger displacement motor like a 393. I could have dropped money on a set of alloys um, and I really did uh, think about this for a long time, which way to go. But the reason I've decided to go with the good old cast is because, like I said, these only cost me 300 bucks. These are low kilometre heads as well. I haven't done many kilometres before they've been taken off the motor they are on. The guy that uh, took these off went with a set of AFD 2V cylinder heads and that's why he was selling these. Um, and I thought about going with a set of Chi 2Vs and the reason I haven't is because really for me to get a set of those 2V Chis, I need to drop about four and a half grand on those. That's assembled with um, sort of a mid-range valve train setup that uh, would be required for the cam that I run in my engine at the moment. Let's talk about why I didn't do that. My current 2V302 closed chamber heads that I ported, they're needing me around 520 horsepower and very close to 500 foot-pounds of torque out of cast iron factory heads that have been ported, okay? And if I bought a set of cheese, okay, and stuck on my motor, okay, I'm gonna get the benefit of maybe being able to run a little bit more compression and take some weight off the front engine for that four and a half grand. But I reckon I'd probably only net probably another 30 horsepower, 40 horsepower. Is it really worth that amount of money for that sort of gain over stock cast iron heads? Sure, I'm gonna to have to spend quite a lot of hours porting these, all right, but it's not gonna cost me anything. Just going to cost me time. I've got the time to do it, so I'm going to do it. And I've decided because I couldn't find any detailed videos online about how to port, especially old school iron, like these old school uh, Cleveland uh, 302 Aussie closed chamber heads, I thought, you know, I'm going to do a video series showing how to do the combustion chambers, how to do the intake runners, how to do the exhausts, and how to do the bowls, okay? And this time around with my head porting, I've done a lot more research. I've watched a lot of uh, race head porters and a lot of videos, even though not particularly or specifically on the Cleveland, the stuff is all very, very similar. And I've read a lot of forums uh, and spent a lot of time lurking around on forums where there's a lot of uh, really good knowledge out there about these particular 302 Aussie uh, Cleveland 2V heads and what the important things are to do to try and get your uh, CFM, your flow, up around that 250, 260 from stock, which is around 180, okay? 
that will see a significant uh, amount of uh, flow transferring into power on your cast iron cylinder heads. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to do a video on what to do and how you go about doing it, the materials to use uh, for doing the porting um, in the coming weeks. So I'm just going to do one aspect of each element of the uh, cylinder heads, starting with the combustion chambers and then moving to the intakes, the exhaust, the bowls. I may not do it necessarily in that order. I will be starting with the combustion chambers though, but how we do the other aspects of the porting, we'll see how we go. We might go to the exhaust after the combustions. It doesn't matter. It'll all be there and um, I'll show how to do uh, you know, one cylinder because it's going to be rinse and repeat for all eight cylinders. So that's what uh, I'm going to be throwing on my channel over the next few weeks because this will take uh, quite a lot of hours. I think the last set of these uh, heads, I don't know how many hours it was, but I know I took two weeks holiday and it took me pretty well two weeks, probably five hours a day. So you could do the math um, to get them ported and the results were fantastic. The gains in power, and I'm talking about um, uh, but, you know, seat of the pants dyno here. I haven't had it dynoed, but I know uh, what my uh, basic horsepower is because I can tell from my Holly Sniper and my VEs, okay? And that gives me a really good indication of what horsepower I'm getting. That's why I'm able to say I'm getting around that 510, 520 horsepower on my combo engine. 393 cubic inch Cleveland motor with a high-rise 2V AFD intake. And sitting on top of that, guys, is a Holly Sniper EFI throttle body injection system. I'm running 350 gears in the rear. I'm running a race built C4 transmission with a 3,500 uh, high stall torque converter in the front of that behind the motor. And my cam is a Crow Cam uh, at 50 uh, lift, guys. It's a 236 246 um, with a 108 LSA. All right, and I'm pumping out. Uh, enough power out of these iron heads to smoke my tyres in that car with that combo in every gear. It's bucket loads of torque. I would have around 500 foot-pounds of torque. This is the perfect um, head, in my opinion, for a street motor, okay? For that traffic light to traffic light zip, you know? These, they go hard, okay? So that's what we're doing over the next couple of weeks with my channel. So as I said guys, I'm going to start with the combustion chambers and this is one of the most important aspects of porting these heads as far as really picking up gains in your flow goes. So what do we do with combustion chambers on these 302 Aussie heads? Well what we're wanting to do is what they call de-shrouding the valves. What the hell does this mean? Okay, from what I can understand from all my reading and from uh, watching race head porters do uh, chamber work. So we want to make sure that when these valves are opening and closing, any transfer of gases is as smooth as possible without turbulence. So as you can see in this cast 302 head, we've got some pretty wild casting, okay? And this is the sort of stuff here that is the concern, all right, of these lips and this sort of um, stuff here, which is going to impede and cause turbulence when uh, the combustion process is happening. So we want to get rid of this uh, here without taking too much material out of the combustion chamber. Now, my engine as it sits, the way that my block is decked and the way that the heads are milled um, on my current 302 heads, I get about 10 to 1 compression. That keeps me in um, pump gas, albeit 98, to um, stave off detonation at 10 to 1 with that big cubic inch motor. So I don't want to lose that because uh, the higher compression you can get without combustion, you know, that's power as well, okay? And you don't want to basically go to all the effort of, um, you know, sorting out these combustion chambers, taking out material to just increase your combustion chamber and losing the benefit of having that higher compression. You're basically, uh, you know, you're going to waste your time if you take too much stuff out. So we want to take minimum material out. We're just going to smooth these edges, all right? We're not gonna hog all this out to be the same level as this. We're just gonna smooth all of these transitions around the valves, wherever there's these lips, and then in all of these castings, right around the combustion chamber, we're just gonna take all of that nasty burring 
and stuff from the casting, we're just gonna get rid of that. And that's gonna need to happen with every single combustion chamber on both heads. That's where we're starting um, with the port work. And uh, we'll be starting that in the next video, basically. Once I've disassembled, cleaned the heads, that's where we're starting. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this is uh, something that's gonna help folks out there that find this video because I certainly, as I said, couldn't find any step-by-step -step, uh, tutorials on how to port uh, anything like this old school Cleveland stuff, particularly the famous Australian 302 closed chamber 2V cylinder heads. Until I see you in the next video, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, take it easy out there.